So let's use our reasoning skills to try to come up with a uh, conclusion here, multiple choice. If today is not Saturday or Sunday, then today is a weekday. Okay, so that's a given conditional that we know to be true. Then we're told that today is not Saturday or Sunday. What do you think is the proper conclusion that we can make given the conditional and then the next statement which is today is not Saturday or Sunday. So look at your options and determine which one you think is the best answer. So if you go through your list, just you know, um, trying to figure out the correct answer here, today is Monday, that wouldn't make sense, right? Because it could be a Tuesday, it could be Wednesday, it could be Thursday, right? And it's definitely not B because it could also, in fact, be Monday. And then um, letter option C is today's Saturday. That doesn't really make sense because we were told that today's not Saturday or Sunday. So the proper conclusion here would be that today is a weekday, letter D, right? Because it could be any other day of the week other than Saturday or Sunday. So you actually use a type of deductive reasoning here, which was called the law of detachment. So write this down on your note sheet. The law of detachment says that if the hypothesis of a true conditional statement is true, then the conclusion is also true. So what it means is we're given a conditional statement that we know to be true. Then the following statement that you're given is the hypothesis of the conditional. If we are told that the hypothesis is true, then we know that the conclusion is also going to be true. So let's look at this example. It says if we have a test tomorrow, then Nick will study. Okay, so if we have a test tomorrow, then Nick will study. Then we're told that Nick is studying. What can we conclude based upon our law of detachment here? So can we conclude that we have a test tomorrow, we don't have a test tomorrow, or we actually cannot come up with a conclusion? So we know that Nick is studying, right? So if Nick is studying, does he have to be studying for his math test necessarily? No. Matt, uh, Nick could be studying for any test or not, not even having a test. He, he could just be studying because that should be one of your nightly homework assignments, right? So the law of detachment says that if we, have a given, if we have a given conditional, if we know the hypothesis is true, then we could conclude the conclusion is true. But here, if we look at our statement, right, this whole thing with Nick will study, that's part of the conclusion right? We're actually told that the conclusion is true. If the conclusion is true, it doesn't necessarily mean that it goes with that hypothesis, okay? Nick could be studying for any other reason. Therefore, our correct answer here is that we cannot draw a conclusion. All right, so this is a different type of um, deductive reasoning. Let's look at this statement. It's, we're told that if you get a job, then you will earn money. If you earn money, then you will buy a car. Look at your multiple choice options here and decide what would be the correct conclusion. Well, if you said B, then you are correct. If you get a job, then you will earn money. If you earn money, then you will buy a car. So we can conclude that, let me get my pen here. We can conclude that if you get a job, then you will buy a car. So notice that this, uh, this conclusion here is repeated in the hypothesis of the second conditional, right? So it's basically like they kind of cancel each other out. And then you can link the original hypothesis with that final ending conclusion. So if you get a job, then you will buy a car. This type of reasoning is deductive and specifically this is called the law of syllogism, okay? The law of syllogism states that if hypothesis P, then Q, and then if Q, then R, so what happens is those Qs kind of cancel each other out, and then we can say that if P, then R.